Thank you very much for being here with us in the very first edition of the Explorers Festival. Your talk was about changing the world with nuclear. So when did you decide you want to change the world with nuclear? Well, uh, I've always just been so excited about the broad sense of possibility that there is in the field of nuclear power, that there are so many things left to be discovered, so many new designs, new techniques you can try. So always, gosh, ever since I was a, a high school physics student, I was, I was really interested in it, and then in undergrad, in grad school, I just got more excited about the possibilities. So what is so special about the nuclear reactor that you are offering? So this type of nuclear reactor is able to run entirely on nuclear waste rather than just fresh fuel. So it's able to consume the waste and turn it into enormous amounts of electricity while at the same time reducing its radioactive lifetime. So conventional nuclear waste is radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years, but the majority of the waste coming out of the reactor that I designed is um, only radioactive for a few hundred years. So why would you think people would consider nuclear as being not a very safe uh, energy source? Well, what I always want to emphasize is that there's so many new types of nuclear reactor designs that are being developed nowadays. And current reactors certainly have safety problems. For the most part, they're very safe. Safer than many other forms of electricity of energy, but the new designs that are coming out are um, just orders of magnitude safer than what exists today. You gave an answer basically to how you can sustain the world, the energy needs of the world for 70 years, but how do you feel yourself <laughs> with inspiration, oh, with energy in your daily life? I really like that question. I think, um, yeah, I, I'm just really excited about, uh, you know, what I can do with this technology, the good it can do in the world. Um, I've always been motivated by an environmentalist perspective, so I'm hoping that if I get this technology up and running and commercialized and deployed, it'll be able to help solve global warming problems, decrease the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. So that's, that's ultimately what's driving me. Can you describe a normal day in your life? <laughs> um, it involves a, a lot of sitting in front of a computer, running simulations, <laughs> uh, writing a lot of code. What's odd is that uh, code in, oh this might get a little bit too dorky, um, nuclear engineering software, a lot of it's very old, so it's written in Fortran 77, which was developed in 1977, um, so it's a lot of writing code in very weird languages. Uh, so that's how, how your, that's how your day goes by. Yeah. And a very nerdy kind of <laughs> <laughs> No, it's super cool. It's mostly like like no, it's really nerdy. I think you're an inspiration to a lot of young people. So how would you push young people to also pursue their passion? What would you tell them? Ooh, I think man, for me it's always like so hard to pick I don't know, there's so many interesting things out there. It's like, it's almost hard to choose. So for young people, I think it's important to, you know, try lots of things in lots of different fields, not be, you know, bogged down by what your preconceptions are. If you're like, eh, I'm bad at math, I'm not gonna go into engineering. But, you know, try it, get motivated by things. Or like, oh, I'm not good at art, I'm just gonna abandon all of that. But I think, you know, not to get dissuaded by, you know, lack of skill in the early days and just figure out what motivates you and go for it. We're here at the Explorers Festival, so I would like to ask you which of the explorers that you look up to. Here in Portugal, I'm going to say Christopher Columbus. <laughs> so I was thinking about that a lot recently, just this, uh, what what courage it requires to go out into the into the absolute unknown. Um, the Japanese yeah. said travel without a destination. Yeah, exactly. Explore beyond the edge. Gosh, it was amazing being on a panel. <laughs> You are an amazing Astronauts and, yeah. and space explorers. It's, gosh, it's just wonderful. So I'll let you enjoy the rest of the conference and thank you very much for this interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. It's really great talking with you. It was really, really nice. And I'm going to send you the interview afterwards. Oh, we could go for it.